Hello there, my beautiful Cancer friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. Now I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you. And at the end of this reading, Cancer, I'm going to pull an additional bonus card, including an angel number for you as well. So stay tuned for that, my friends. All right, we are starting here with the Judgment card. So... Some of you are in a place in your life right now where you are waking up to the reality of your life. Perhaps there is some sort of truth that has been revealed to you, but whatever this is, you're at a pivotal point. There's a big decision that you have to make. And as you do this, I'm seeing a lot of you shedding the old and coming into the new. So this is like a profound change that is happening in your life. And Cancer, what I'm seeing is... A big change actually coming into your life know that this is a major arcana card the energy is prominent it's in the background some of you can feel this intensely and others you're feeling this subtly okay so we'll take a look at that card uh, I'm gonna pull another two more and see what else we get the two of wands look at that you're looking into the future you're looking at all of the possibilities you're actually exploring them so with this energy, I feel your, your, your focus is on the future here, Cancer, and you're making plans, you're strategizing, you're organizing, and this is the beautiful part here because you're going to make things happen here, this is what I'm seeing, and you're going to take action steps towards these, and I feel some of you have this fire that has ignited within you to kind of make this possible. So this is such a beautiful energy for you today, Cancer. And the Knight of Swords. So everything that you're thinking, everything that you're dreaming of and visualizing, you're going to take action steps towards it. All right. And it doesn't matter what's in your path. I feel for some of you, you're going to overcome barriers. You have come to this point in your life, which is this judgment card, that nothing is going to stop you. You are going to become unstoppable. This dream, this vision that you have, it is so vivid. It is so clear that you're ready to take action towards it. What a beautiful place to be here, Cancer. I'm so happy for you. I feel you're going to make some major, major changes in your life. I feel for a lot of you, um, perhaps something has happened. Some I'm getting a tower card moment here for some of you. Maybe this has happened recently. Maybe this has happened not too long ago. But it has kind of opened your eyes to the reality of your situation. This could be, you know, an ending of a job whether it was you ending it or you being let go. Maybe this is an ending of a relationship. This could be a death in the family in some way that has kind of made you come to this place in your life where you're realizing a lot of things. I'm also seeing belief systems being shattered here as well, or you shattering them yourself, right? And you're coming to this new place. And this is an uncomfortable place at first, but once you realize, once you understand and you come to terms with it, it's going to open up this brand new chapter for you. And this is the judgment moment, right? And what I'm getting is a majority of you walking down this new path. You're kind of looking at your past, your present moment, and you're kind of like, all right, I'm going to take a turn now and I'm going to walk that way. And I'm seeing a lot of you letting go of the old, letting go of the past. You're kind of it's a really um, interesting and almost liberating place to be here because what I'm feeling with this energy of the judgment card is that some of you have wanted to come to this place for a very long time and you're finally doing it for yourself. This could be, you know, an example of it could be you've been in a workplace for a very long time. Things have changed or perhaps, you know, um, staffing has changed. Maybe the the company's been sold off and just the environment has changed. It's not what it used to be and you're not enjoying it. And it's been like this for many, many years. For some of you, this is recent, right? And because of that, you're making this choice to leave this place. It sucks because you once enjoyed it and it's sad that it's turned into this kind of a mess place and you're now decided that you're going to give your resignation and you're going to find a different job. Some of you might not even have anything lined up yet, right? And others, I feel like you've been in a relationship for a very long time, whether this is a love partner, this could be family members, perhaps it's toxic, it's been toxic for a long time, and you've come to this place in your life where you're realizing that this is not the life that I ever dreamed of or desired, and you're making that change by walking away, 
right? I feel here some of you are going to even move. There's a move happening. This could be around a relationship. This could be you just moving to a different place. You're just kind of tired of the energy. Or this is, you know, you coming into this new uh, mindset even. Belief systems is a big one here that I'm feeling for a lot of you that you grew up believing certain things because you were raised a certain way and those belief systems aren't aligning with you anymore. So it's time for you to create some new belief systems that are aligned to your highest good, your highest path here. And I've done this in my life. I've changed my belief system now. I'm, I've put myself in a belief system that resonates with me, that is in alignment with my morals and my values. And um, I'm standing my ground in it. And there's people around me that are not happy about it, right? Especially my mom. I'm just going to throw it out there, <laughs> right? So, um, yeah, she's not happy with me doing tarot, Right? She's a Christian, Pentecostal Christian. She's super against it. She thinks it's like devil's work. I totally disagree with that. And it doesn't matter what my mom thinks, right? It doesn't matter what anyone in my life thinks about this. I come from a very corporate uh, environment, like my working career. And I made a choice to leave that and do something on my own. I'm very results oriented. I'm very good at what I do. I have a, you know, I have intuition. I have a talent here with my tarot cards. And I wanted to pursue this journey. I'm passionate about this and I really enjoy doing this. So this is what, what my judgment uh, moment was and I, I'm sure for all of you it's something completely different right or it's something in alignment with what kind of I'm going through but whatever this is it's profound change coming into your life here cancer and I feel for a lot of you you are going to stand in your decision and stand in it strong and walk down that path that you want to walk down because you are the ruler of your reality here it's up to you what it is that you want to create and I feel for some of you have it set in your mind what it is that you want, where it is that you're headed, that destination point, you know exactly where it is. You have crystal clear clarity around that. And that is what you, which way you're walking. You're seeing the signs from the universe as well. I feel the angels are coming down. So some of you are seeing white doves, white birds, right? animals or insects or synchronicities and numbers, signs, patterns, music that's resonating with you really hard right now, where the words are just like, making this taking you to a completely different place this is what music does for me as well is it takes me to this other realm and it's just so beautiful i love music right so i feel there's a huge change coming in i feel a lot of you are letting go of the old letting go of things that no longer serve you this could be habits beliefs this could be um you know doubts and fears all of this and you're coming in and making way for new changes, new beginnings for your life here. And boy, oh boy, are you going to make things happen here, Cancer. So look at you go, my friends. And ascensions, I'm getting ascensions here as well. So some of you are like really aligning up to this other, uh, like you're on a spiritual journey here, some of you, right? And I'm seeing uh, chakras lighting up here in alignment and you're ascending. And for some of us, that ascension can be uncomfortable. For other others, it's like, woo, I'm so happy I'm going up there, right? I'm ascending. For others, you feel that uncomfortable feeling that comes with ascension where you're not feeling so good. You get these dizzy spells. You get headaches, right? That kind of feeling. Some of you are feeling that as well. Know that you are ascending here, my friends. Um, and those dreams that come with ascensions as well, which I get sometimes, oh my goodness, they're so vivid. And usually my ascension dreams when I'm ascending, and to me, ascension is almost like leveling up. It's kind of like you rise up just a little bit. I get UFO and alien dreams in my when I'm ascending. Two of Wands energy is here as well. So this is focusing in on your future. This is you planning. This is you contemplating. This is you looking at the bigger picture. For some of you, this is going to be um, like there's a move that is um, happening in your life here as well. And with this, I feel that you're because you have that clarity here, Cancer, I'm seeing that you know exactly what it is that you need to do in your life. And because of this, you're looking at your actual world, 
right? And you're making changes all around it. I feel for some of you, you are looking at your well-being. You're looking at some of the habits that you have, some of the things that you're taking in your body, some of the things that you're taking into your mind here, and you're really shifting things. And as you're doing this, you're starting to see the shift in your reality. And I feel that some of you have come to this place where you understand that it's your thoughts that become your reality. And because you're shifting your mindset, you're putting yourself in a place of abundance and success and growth. You're now starting to see that shift happening. It's happening slowly, but it's definitely happening. Some of you are still in the thinking process where you're trying to gain clarity of what it is that you actually want. And as soon as you do, that's when the judgment period happens. That's where things set off. That's where you start to make the moves to create that reality in your life. And that that's where it's at, right? Um, if we're the type of person that sit around and wait for things to happen, right? That's not how they, that's not how life works. We are the ones that are in control of our life. And we are the ones that have to initiate. We are the ones that have to make those moves. We are the ones that have to get into action to actually create that reality, to create the change that we desire, that we are wanting, right? So I feel that some of you have this like deep feeling in your gut that something is about to happen. So some of you have been anticipating this change for a very long time. Some of you are creating this change by making a decision or a choice to leave your current life, however that might be, whether it's you leaving one small thing or leaving your entire life. I've shifted my life three times, like my entire life, you know, and I love this life that I'm in right now, right? My third time was me leaving my career and leaving that paycheck that came every two weeks that I relied on to pay my bills. And I took this big leap of faith, I took a risk, which I'm a risk taker, so risks for me are okay. Um, and it might not be for everyone because some of us, we don't do well with risks, right? But sometimes we have to take risks here, cancer. And I feel for some of you, you're taking that big risk. You're taking that leap of faith. And what helps me when I take a risk is I look at all the angles of that risk. So I look at all the good things that can come out of that risk. I also look at all the bad that can come out of that risk. And for me, looking at the bad and coming to a place where I'm okay with the bad, um, and I look at it, and I'm like, okay, sure. I accept that these bad things can happen. And I'm gonna take the risk anyways, knowing that that can happen, right? And when I do do something and it doesn't turn out the way that I would like it to, I can go back. Or if there's no way to go back, then I keep changing, taking risks until one works. And I'm not afraid to do that. And I feel the fear of that. That's how you grow. Change brings growth. We're always evolving. There's always change around us. And whether we like to believe this or not, our life, our world is always changing. There's constant change. So we have to embrace the change because with change comes growth, right? If we remain in a safe place, in a safe state where we're playing safe all the time, then we're not gonna we're not gonna see change. You have to take big risks. You have to overcome that fear of trying something different. And we have to visualize bigger. And I feel for a lot of you, that's what exactly what you're doing. You're thinking much bigger than you once used to some of you and some of you have always thought big and you're reaching new heights i'm seeing a lot of you cancers rising up really high and a lot of you leveling up a lot of you are ascending and this is that change that you have been wanting and you have been yearning and longing for here as well and for a lot of you this is you manifesting this into your reality right? You are changing your reality. You're changing your world on your own because you, I feel some of you understand how to play the game of life. It's what I'm doing. It, it's not hard if you actually, well, I mean, it can be hard, especially if we're conditioned, if we have really deep seated habits or things that, um, you know, through our life have brought us to this place in the world, right? Yes, it's hard, but you have the will and you have to have that will to overcome, right? You have to have that strength. We are all born with superpowers to tackle any kind of challenge or obstacle that comes our way. And it's up to us to kind of 
break that conditioning, breaking those habits to create new ones, which is the adjustment editing of our lives. And, and that's the uncomfortable part. Yes, it's going to be uncomfortable, right? And that uncomfortable feeling that we feel is what keeps us from bringing about that change in our life. Because we're so used to that comfortable place that any kind of change that brings us uncomfort, that feeling of uncomfort is so, you just don't want to do it. So you play it safe, right? So I feel for a lot of you, you're in a place right now where you're willing and ready and you have that will and desire to make change and you're, you're ready to face it all. And this is where everything is actually going to come into play. And this is where you're aligning with your destiny, with that higher purpose. And everything that you're thinking, because you're thinking bigger, I feel you're going to start taking actions. You're going to take the initiative. You're going to armor up. You're going to equip yourselves with knowledge, with skill sets by being resourceful and investing in yourself here, Cancer, and really proving yourself right. This is what I'm feeling here. And I feel for some of you, maybe you have something to prove to yourself or for others. Uh, for me, I'm always trying to prove it to myself. And I always... Um, I, I always feel this energy here, the Knight of Swords, where I'm always in competition with myself. If I've done something, I want to reach, I want to smash that goal, smash it even more. And if I set a goal of something, let's say I want to hit, um, uh, for example, 100,000 uh, subscribers by a certain date, I'm like, I'm going to smash that goal. I'm going to get to like 110 instead. And I always do that. I actually do that. I smash my goals because that kind of builds up this energy this power within me to try even harder so i feel for some of you this is kind of the energy that is flowing through you with the knight of swords and spirit guides are really wanting you to embody this energy as well that when you have that clarity remember the swords is your intellect it's your mind when you have that crystal clarity you know exactly what direction that you're going and you're going and, and i feel that a lot of you are going to go in you're going to walk and remember our world is full of chaos we live in a chaotic world and the chaos we all as human beings created we we are creators so I feel for some of you are creating something you're creating a lifestyle you're creating your reality maybe you're creating a project a business but we're creating something right and because you have crystal clarity around that you know exactly what direction you need to go and I'm seeing some of you really taking action and you're like sprinting here and you some of you are seeing the, the challenges that you have to face moving forward I remember when I first started my YouTube journey I knew exactly what my challenges were. I had to learn YouTube. That's a challenge, right? How does it work? I went, went head in, not afraid of it. And that's the energy I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm feeling here with the Knight of Swords energy is that you're like, you're, you're a driving force right now. You're kind of like, I've got that goal. I've got my eye on the prize and I don't care what barriers are in my way. I'm going to smash them and I'm going to freaking ride through them with my horse. I'm going to, I don't care. Nothing's going to knock me down. I feel that a lot of you are unstoppable right now. That you're going to reach heights that you have never even imagined. And perhaps you have mad imagined them, right? But I'm seeing some of you rising above the rest here. And I, I say this a lot because I do feel that you have the power within you to do this. You have the capabilities. You have to, you are the superhero of your own life here, Cancer. And look at this guy's got a cape here. He's a superhero. This reminds me, and I've been saying this on a majority of my readings today, is when I was younger, I wanted to be Condor Man. I watched that movie and I don't know what sparked in me. And I always considered myself like a Condor Man, right? Woman. Um, and I built wings when I was young after I watched that movie. I wanted to fly off the roof of my house. So my siblings and I, we built um, <laughs> wings and we tried to fly over uh, the house that we lived in. It wasn't that high. It was high enough, but we weren't afraid of heights. We jump in a bush and that poor bush was destroyed. But that's what kids do, right? So spirit guides are wanting you to embrace this inner child energy and, you know, think about the superhero that you wanted to be, the one that most resonated with you when you were younger. It could have been Barbie even, right? Barbie is very successful. 
He-Man, a uh, Superman, Batman, whoever, Catwoman, right? They're all, you know, everybody goes through struggles. All of those superheroes had to go th through something to become what they are. And I feel for some of you, you're riding that momentum, that energy that's coming through you and enveloping your life right now where there's a fire that has ignited within you. You're gaining that clarity and because you're gaining that clarity, you are shedding that old and coming into the new. And you're really becoming the driving force for your own life here. It's like you're taking charge and it's something to definitely be proud of here, Cancer. And you're going to see your world um, shifting in leaps and bounds and you coming to this place of abundance, of success, of an independence, like, oh my goodness, you are going to win here, my friends. Such a powerful energy here for you. So know this, own this power because you have it. The power is you, yourself, right? So this is your reading through the tarot cards. I'm now going to pull a bonus card for you. This is the Animal Oracle, Animal Spirit Oracle deck, and I've used this on my channel before, so, um, but I forgot that I had a guidebook with this, so when I pulled the cards out, this fell out, so I was like, oh my goodness, I have to use this today, so I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook, and uh, let's see what we get here for you today, Cancer, whoa, okay, so that wasn't meant for you, that one just shot right out, all right, so Hummingbird, Miracles, Cancer, look at this. Have any of you been seeing hummingbirds? Remember, the universe speaks to us through the universe, through everything around us. And if you've seen hummingbirds, this is your confirmation. If you haven't seen hummingbirds, you're seeing them right now on your screen. So let me read this to you. You are the joy bringer, Cancer. You bless the world with positivity and love. Energy soars on your shining wings. Spread the miracle of happiness. Oh my goodness, look at how beautiful that is. So let me pull up the interpretation and read that to you right now. Hummingbird, here we are. So, if hummingbird is your totem, you are a person of joy and you bring a smile to everyone you meet. Hummingbird takes away sorrow, worry, and sadness. Hummingbird medicine teaches us to let stress and troubles go. When hummingbird appears, it is a reminder to spend in the garden, spend time in the garden, drink from the sweet nectar of life, and flit from flower to flower, helping to pomegranate all that is beautiful. Cancer. Hummingbird people are the masters of healing with herbs, flowers, colorful stones, aromatherapy, and love. If you have hummingbird as totem, you naturally radiate the colors of the rainbow. Your bright, cheerful presence and sweet laughter is a blessing to all you meet. You are a person who creates happy life magic. Oh my gosh, Cancer, you create happy life magic. Hummingbird energy is associated with accomplishing what that which seems impossible. You can even fly upside down. Look at that. If hummingbird is in your life, you have the ability to see the good in others and beauty wherever you go. Acceptance and love are the healing powers you offer by just being yourself. You have a very high energy which naturally uplifts others, but even hummingbirds need rest. Take time with the flowers for renewal and never let others take away your joy, sparkle or positivity. Happiness is who you are, Cancer. So look at that. Sorry, sometimes I have a hard time reading um, these books because the letters are so small. So maybe I need glasses. I don't know. I'll have to go get my eyes checked. So that is your bonus card here. I'm now going to pull an angel number for you. So some of you have been seeing angel numbers. This is going to be your confirmation. And for others, you can use this as an affirmation. So let's see what we get for you today. Cancer. Number 24. I am generous. So if you've been seeing 24, twos and fours together, you are generous. Cancer. Let me read this to you. You have a heart of gold and are very skilled at maintaining balanced stable relationships you are loyal to your loved ones and are able to be the nurturer protector and provider all at once look at you go cancer so if this reading resonates for you today please comment below hit that like button and if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content please consider subscribing other than that i wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching